Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I am very late. I'm about to catch my train to uh, Philadelphia. I'm right now in Penn Station. We just made it on time. Actually, it's fine because they don't open the tracks until like a few minutes before you're gonna board. And right now we're on the line to get on the train. Yeah, basically we were in a rush. I didn't have much time to go around the station uh, to show the infrastructure and how is uh, the change that is actually happening right now in several train stations here in the United States. But hopefully I'll have the chance when I come back and I'll show you guys. Right now we're on the way to the train. I'm glad we made it on time. We're just gonna board the train and it's gonna be like one hour and a half ride all the way to Philadelphia. So I'll show you around. From this huge, huge, huge train that is right now behind me, only this small part, which means the tip of the train is business class. Total, we have five seats. This is going to be just a 40 minute trip to Guangzhou. They're right now preparing the whole cabin. They're cleaning up because this train just arrived and it's going to start a journey again to the north of China. Okay, we made it. We are here in a train and uh, the first impression, to be honest, uh, I do like it. They look quite different from the coach, C3 coach cars, uh, the Chinese trains, even high speed trains. I'm not sure if they went through some kind of renovation lately because I've heard like these are very old trains and actually you can tell from the outside. They're also slow trains, they don't, they're not high speed system, but the seats are quite spacious. These are like leather seats, which is a big difference. Uh, from the ones you can find in China. Also, they're more spacious. Also, the space, the luggage on top uh, is a little bigger, which is good if you have like bulky luggage. That's not our case because just, we're just going for a one day trip to Philadelphia. So glad we made it on time because the thing is the whole station is going through a huge renovation, the whole thing station. And some parts are already finished, like some entrances and actually the main atrium. I think it's done, but the area all around is still like flows and it's hard to find some entrances, at least on the part where we're coming to. So I was afraid we we're not going to make it on time. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a very comfortable ride, slow one, because uh, the United States does not have yet high speed trains. I believe they're working on some projects on the West Coast. California's high speed rail billions have already gone into the project, but will we ever see the trains rolling? Success of the high speed rail is expected to reshape the Central Valley, but the project is insanely over budget at this point. Yeah, so the question is, how is it still moving forward? We'll see. Let's we'll see how it comes. So we already have access to the car. Just to let you know, the lady just gave us a small snack box and a bottle of water to enjoy our trip. So we're beginning our journey in this train. I love that it's very silent and very quiet. So um, now we are going to be four people total in this cabin and enjoy our trip. As I said, the seat is very comfortable. We have the buttons on the side of the seat for the configuration. You can press one button and then it will modify and adapt, adjust the seat to a more comfortable position, just like this. A few moments later. Okay, this is probably the position that you will travel um, most of the trip if you're not sleeping. So it's very comfortable. You have a headrest that can adjust. A little bit, a bit higher or lower. You have a lamp here, like a reading lamp. You can adjust it into different settings. Let's try a fully flat bed. Okay, we have here like a 180 degrees fully flat bed, perfect for resting, sleeping on a long journey. So just like this. I'll take a nap. Bye bye.
Well, I'm finding another big difference, and it's comfort. Despite the seats being like bigger, more spacious, and they look a little bit fancier than the ones on the regular trains in China, the train is old and it's very shaky. Like I'm trying to do some work on my computer, and the, the table and the seats don't stop shaking. <laughs> and that is definitely because it's an old train that doesn't happen in uh, uh, trains in China, despite going on a very high speed. Usually you go at 300 kilometers per hour, and uh, those are high speed trains, of course, but you don't feel that shakiness that you can have in these trains, which makes it a little bit annoying, you know, the, the whole trip, because I cannot use my time to work my computer, but it's like all shaky. That's the way it is. This kind of experiment where they use a coin to try to test and prove how smooth these rides are. And look at that. It was a pleasant journey. We are here already in Guangzhou South for a few minutes because we're going back to Shenzhen. And they turn the lights off when we get here for some reason. <laughs> that's that's new. But yeah, they were saying they'll be here for a few minutes because this train I think it will go all the way to Pittsburgh. And it's gonna stay here for a few minutes. So there won't be power on the train. So people just need to go out. We just made it to 30th Street Station here in uh, Philadelphia. This is the largest train station in this city and it looks quite impressive to be honest. I was not expecting to find this station. I didn't know much about this place but now we're just getting off the track and the train and it looks quite massive. Again, the tracks and the trains are a little bit outdated. Nothing compared to the new train system that you can find in China but still, the stations are very well kept and very nice. Now we're going to go around and explore. We're going to spend here the whole day and now we're gonna take the train from Philadelphia back to New York because this is just like a one day trip. One of the reasons why the train system is not that well developed here in America is because Americans prefer either driving or taking an airplane. The train system as a transportation method is not that popular here. So I was asking the lady in the information booth back there if there is any train connecting from here to the west coast. Apparently there is no train to go and reach that far of America, but there is a train connecting to Miami, which is a little bit far from here. Probably it's going to be like an overnight train or something like that. Probably more than eight or 10 hours to reach that place because that is all the way on the south. But that's like all you can find here. Not many options to travel to different cities. Also will be like even more expensive and slower. So people would rather just travel by train instead of just taking a train. So as you can see, this is more like uh, Emirates or Qatar or uh, Etihad Airlines kind of uh, private cabins for the business class. We are going to have a screen just for us and these spaces, you can close them just like this and have more privacy. Ooh, I like this one better. Okay, now it's time to make a fully flat bed. I'm just gonna press one button here and the seat is going to change to a 180 degrees flat bed. So we can sleep if we have like a few hours. This is the last generations of trains here in China. This is the type of luxuries that you can have here in China. Traveling in a very comfortable, smooth, modern, and not that expensive train. I like it. And we 
have arrived in Shenzhen North. One more time, we're back. It was a very pleasant trip, even though a little bit short, but still very nice. And we just arrived back in New York City from, um, where were we? Pennsylvania. We were spending a full day in Philadelphia. Coming back to Penn Station, again, doesn't look as a remarkable station. In general, the whole experience was just fine. Nothing compared to the high-speed railway system that you can find uh, in uh, mainland China. I believe there is a big way to go for the United States if they want to catch up with what is going on in China in terms of railway systems. I, I believe this station is going through a transformation. I would love to see that, how it's going to look after it's all finalized, after it's all uh, renovated. But so far, it still looks outdated, old, small. Actually, the tracks are super narrow. And I think for a city like New York, it deserves something better. I would like to check out also Grand Central Station. I believe that station is way bigger. Uh, we were there before, just checking out the atrium or uh, the, the big terminal, but I didn't have the chance to actually board a train and go to the tracks. But uh, in general, I believe it was just okay. The experience was not that remarkable. Again, you can feel the trains are quite old, outdated, and very shaky compared to the brand new trains that you can find in China. I, I would rather just traveling again by airplane. I believe that is a number one choice here in the United States. Train is not going to become a big deal. Trains uh, in China are one of the reasons why the economy is booming right now. And it's going to be part again of this huge economic development in countries like China, actually in Asia. In Europe, it's also a big deal. The railway system works very well over there. They have several high-speed railway systems in countries like France, Germany, Spain. But here in the United States, we're just gonna travel by airplane. That's the end of the story. We're not going to have huge, massive infrastructure for trains. That was it for today. Let me know what you guys think about this video. If you enjoy, if you have any suggestions, if you have any comments, then let me know in the comments down below. Remember also to subscribe to, to the channel if you haven't yet. Hit the bell button so you don't miss the next video I'm going to upload next time. And with that, thank you so much for watching one more time. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye. Folks, I'm going to be wandering around nice and beautiful places here in China and documenting about it. I will also be Instagramming my day to day and my trips in this awesome country. Feel free to follow me and leave your comments and impressions over there about life in China. I will leave the link to my account in the description down below. Remember to like the video, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button so you don't miss any of my follow up stories about what's going on in this part of the world. If you think there might be someone else interested in these kind of videos, please consider sharing. My name is Rafael, thanks for watching and stay safe until next time.